So one of my favorite stories is about the Chinese farmer. Chinese farmer has a horse. The horse runs away, and the neighbor runs over and says, oh, how terrible your horse ran away. And the farmer says, I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. The next day, the horse comes back with 50 new horses trailing behind it. And the neighbor runs over and says, oh, how wonderful, you got 50 new horses. And the Chinese farmer says, I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. The farmer's son is breaking in one of the horses. The horse throws him, breaks his arm. Neighbor runs over, oh, how terrible, your son broke his arm. The farmer says, I don't know if that's good or that's bad. The Chinese military comes through the village, takes all the males except for the son because he's got a broken arm. Neighbor runs over, how wonderful, they didn't take your son. When does this end? Back and forth, back and forth. It's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad. And all the judgment. And the Chinese farmer says, look, it is what it is. Now, what good can we bring from it? We have the situation we have. OK, test for you. Now we're going to find out some integrity. You're driving down I-35. It's raining. You get a flat tire. Tell me honestly the first thing out of your mouth. <laughs> right? You pull over to deal with it. And now, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to you in the world, in your life. It's raining, blah, blah, blah. Somebody stops to help you and gives you their card. And as a result, you end up going to work for that person. And as a result of working for that person, you become a millionaire. How do you feel about that flat tire now? I've had the fortune to work with people whose motto is, if there's nobody bleeding and nothing's burning, we don't have a problem, everything's good, we'll work it out. But when we get into those emotional outbursts and all that impatience and sniping and all, that's not about the other person, that's about you. That's about you protecting yourself. Once you realize it is what it is, it becomes a lot easier. I'll give you a quick example. Barbara again, because everyone knows what Barbara's like. <laughs> Barbara comes to me, and she gets up in my face. She's raising her voice. She's tempted right now to actually do that, but just stay there, stay there. She's raising her voice. What do I do? What do you do in that case? Stay calm, let her talk, okay? What do you really do in that case? I know, but you're a rarity. That's not the way most people do it, right? What are we tempted to do? Stand up, scream back. Why? Defensive reaction. She is disrespecting me. I had to defend myself. I had to put that threat down, however you want to phrase it. Guess what? It's not about you. This is where we have to be clever and reimagining and rethinking aging and all, all things that we do. So for me, I used to answer that with escalation. Barbara escalates, I'm jumping up. I got hot Sicilian blood in me. I am jumping up and I'm going into her face. And I finally realized, what happens if I do nothing? What do two people yelling at each other look like? It's an argument. What does one person yelling look like? <laughs> Barbara's a little loopy. So once you realize that, it's not about, Barbara did not make me, right? Barbara did not make me stand up. I chose that. Barbara did not make me open my mouth. Barbara did not make me choose the words. She didn't. That made all the difference in the world. Once I realized that E plus R equals O is one of the most powerful equations in the world. E plus R equals O. The event plus your response to the event gives you the outcomes that you get in your life. So you got to stop and ask yourself, who am I? What do I want? How am I going to get it? What do my outcomes look like right now in my life? Is it because of Barbara? Because for the last 20 years, that's been my mindset. 
It's always somebody else. If they would just do what they, if they would just, if they would just, then I wouldn't have to. I figured out how to deal with Barbara. Barbara blows up. I calm down. This is about changing behavior. Audrey mentioned this on Monday. This is about changing behavior. How do you change behavior? Do you do it by beating up people? Quick story. 14 people in my family growing up, sitting at one table, kitchen table at night for dinner. My father was a smart man. He was educated, professional man, on top of it. But he would come to the table every once in a while just in his undershirt. And my mother would say, could you put a shirt on, please, when you come to the dinner table? And again, and again, and again. Didn't work. How is she going to change that behavior? If you were my mother sitting at the dinner table, and my father came to the dinner table once again in a t-shirt, an undershirt, a, I don't even want to say the phrase. You know what I'm talking about, right? What would you do? Your leadership is about how much more clever can you be than the other person. It's not very clever for me to get up and escalate with her. It's more clever for me to stay seated. So you're at the, dining room, uh, the, the kitchen table having dinner. He comes to the table once again in his t-shirt. How do you change his behavior? Give me a couple of ideas. Put the shirt on his chair, right? Leave the shirt on the chair for him. Okay, what else? Turn off the AC. Now, I'm, that's, that's what we're talking about, right? Creative ways to get people to change their behavior. What else? Don't serve him. Nobody eats until he puts on his shirt. Now he's got 13 against him. <laughs> but my father was Sicilian, so it doesn't matter. It didn't matter how many people were against him. I heard two people say something about my mom take her shirt off. I don't know what the hell you think kind of person my mother is. <laughs> but she started unbuttoning her blouse. She unbuttoned her blouse, unbuttoned her blouse, took off her shirt. My father had a coronary. <laughs> Guess how many times he came to the table again after that without a shirt on? Zero. How are you going to change the behavior of people around you? 